I'd like to introduce my team, Ed Nanali, Brad Dolan, Beth Heslovitz, and Mallory Nelson. We in the ICU strive to provide the best care possible to every patient, every time. Unfortunately, with the current systems in place, that doesn't always happen. Imagine here a child with cancer. He has a central line, basically a giant long-term IV straight to his heart, which allows painless blood draws and administration of chemotherapy. Different doctors, nurses, and other staff address the line with variable technique, some not too clean. As a result, the line becomes infected. The bacteria sneak into his system. He develops septic shock and dies. Unfortunately, medical errors like this are all too common across the industry. 440,000 deaths per year. That's basically one every minute. How can this be acceptable? Failures of care delivery and coordination result in $200 billion of avoidable waste. Why? Hospitals know best practices, but they cannot consistently deliver those practices down at the front lines. And why is that? Our dedicated staff are overwhelmed. They are lost in a sea of accelerating complexity with ever increasing number of tasks and ever decreasing time for mastery. New practices are thrown at them. They come in binders. They go in SharePoints. They go in email. Lost. Training sessions are disconnected from patients and are not retained. Thankfully, you guys are awake. <laughs> Data is coming from all directions, but without context, there is no informed learning. And if all else fails, we yell. Technology has failed us. Rather than enabling us, it serves as a barrier. What we need is a technological solution that is simple, that aligns all of our professions as one and helps us deliver consistency across healthcare. I led the development of a proof of concept here at UCSF. Our goal was to decrease central line infections by increasing adherence to best line care practices. We began by engaging staff through noticing that they are underappreciated. So we gave them a recognition application. We encouraged engagement and sustained it with gamification. And then we brought in a self-assessment checklist geared towards introspective learning, self-improvement, rather than punitive audits. Our results were dramatic. Central line infections were cut 50%. This resulted in a saving of an estimated three lives, over 300 hospital days, and $1.1 million. That proof of concept, it's still growing. We're now in two hospitals in the UCSF system. We've doubled our users. Recognition is about to go campus-wide. Central line checklist adoption has increased. And we've now introduced, just today, the C. difficile checklist. What is C. diff? C. diff and central line infections are two of the five categories of hospital-acquired infections that cost this country $10 billion annually. That is our entry to market. Accolades have come from across UCSF senior leadership, and this is all for a platform that was cobbled together on Salesforce CRM with university developers on a shoestring budget. Imagine what we could do if we truly had something that was purpose-built. So I looked around in the private sector with our key functionality, for example, recognition. Those out there with recognition are solely dealing with patients and staff, nothing more. We looked for just-in-time knowledge. There are databases and references out there that give much more dense references or clinical decision support that's geared towards physicians, but forget about the rest of the healthcare team. When it comes to gamification, there are companies out there looking at gamification to drive medical knowledge through competitions dealing with fictitious patients. We want something real. And with healthcare IT, that is a patient-centric solution designed with no thought towards the staff who are actually needing to use it. So that created an opportunity for us, that for Elemental Health. And that's where I paired with Ed over here, who is a veteran developer with 20 years of experience at Electronic Arts running online games for millions to see how could we work together to solve this problem. We paired with the rest of our Startup 101 team to refine our business solution. So if we think about medical errors as the disease and best practices as the cure, our product is the delivery mechanism 
the injection, if you will, to help hospitals take best practices and actually implement them consistently at the front lines. We take a system of inefficiency and complexity and bring in simplicity and consistency. Our mobile engagement platform helps staff deliver best practices at the bedside. We begin engagement with recognition and gamification. We then move to empowerment of front lines with just-in-time education delivered through quick reference micro-learning. See what you need to do right before you do it. It's no longer see one, do one, teach one. See it in your privacy as many times as you want right when you do it. Do it right every time. Ready to go to the next level? Take our checklists. They are configurable to be set up to be really primed for what you need in your unit, personalized to your unit, to take your staff on a step-by-step -step journey to perfection. We take personal and team metrics, display it to the staff. We pair that with metrics for outcomes for the unit and for the hospital, connecting the dots from the front lines to the C-suite, how you really matter in the big picture. All a virtuous cycle of continuous improvement <coughs> from the palm of your staff's hands. Why is this important? Engagement and best practices lead to more higher quality service. That leads to higher patient satisfaction. More consistent service decreases hospital acquired infections and other conditions. In, our con con in, the, in the current Affordable Care Act, these items are now rewarded with extra revenue. We increase additionally employee productivity and improve retention, decreasing HR costs, exploding your profit margin. <laughs> We are a SaaS system built around mobile with tiered pricing. We are B2B geared towards enterprise sales with an introductory freemium model to be able to get early adopters from prospective clients to come in and help us demonstrate value and make the sale. We aim to have our MVP in at UCSF for alpha testing in June, our beta version in by later in the fall to replace our current proof of concept and then scale through our ACO partners and additional uh, regional hospitals to become revenue positive by 2018. We have a validated proof of concept, a licensed partner at UCSF, and we're cloud-based and scalable, allowing us to take value not just in your hospital, but spread it across your ACO and industry. We believe that strong staff lead to safe patients. The electronic health record is here to stay, a patient-centric solution for the consumers of healthcare. We complement this with the first staff-centric solution designed for the producers of healthcare. So let's get hospitals out of their silos and into elemental health to radically improve quality at the front lines and across our industry.